A unique rescue operation today in a northeast Albuquerque neighborhood. Rescuers wearing safety gear had one mission in mind, to save what was flying around in the trees above. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports. There was a crane, there was um, a big truck bed. It was 6 a.m. when one Northeast Albuquerque neighborhood became the scene of a rescue mission. Bystanders patiently watched, wondering who was in trouble. When they saw the rescue team suited up, they got some answers. This is the first time that we've we've rescued bees. When Eric's tree care first got the call that this tree had to go, this was not part of the deal. We were removing some hazardous cottonwood trees. The property owners were worried the decaying tree would eventually topple over. It was their their house that the limbs would have crashed on if the tree would have broken apart. So Eric accepted the job, but a day before he was to cut the tree down, he was told there was an entire bee colony swarming inside. Well. To be honest with you, um, because it can be very difficult to remove the bees from a tree at heights, uh, we expected we would have to kill them. Neighbors begged Eric to find another solution, and he did. So a bucket truck, some beekeeper suits, and one crane later, the top of the trunk was carefully removed and the bees were whisked away. I think anytime you can do the right thing, and it's, it's great. Eric agrees, even if he's not sure exactly how much one bee rescue will end up costing him. I'm guessing about $500 for the crane. Haven't seen the bill yet. Crystal Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. Eric says the property owner agreed to split the cost of the crane. The rest of the tree was cut down after the section with the bees was removed. The bees are now sitting in a pile of tree trunks on Eric's business property, waiting for any helpful beekeepers who are willing to take them off his hands.